Did you know our oceans hide fish that glow like flashlights? Jellyfish that can live forever? Hunters that see with special night vision. These amazing creatures are real, not from movies. The deep ocean is Earth's last unexplored place, full of animals that look like aliens. These aren't make-believe monsters. They're real ocean animals that are weirder than anything in science fiction. In fact, we know more about Mars than our own deep seas. Today we'll meet 10 of the strangest ones that even scientists don't fully understand. Let's dive in and explore these incredible creatures together. At number 10, we encounter the Pacific Viperfish, perhaps the most perfectly adapted predator in the deep sea. Those needle-like teeth you're seeing aren't just for show. They're actually so long that when the viperfish closes its mouth, the teeth curve backward into special sockets in its own skull. But here's what truly astonishes researchers. This fish's entire underside is covered in hundreds of tiny light-producing organs called photophores that create complex flashing patterns. Some scientists believe these lights may be used like Morse code to communicate with other viperfish in the eternal darkness. Others think they help disguise the fish's silhouette from prey below. So what is the truth? After decades of study, we still don't fully understand this living light show. And that's just the beginning of the mystery surrounding this deep sea nightmare. When this jellyfish faces injury, starvation, or even old age, it doesn't die like every other creature on Earth. Instead, it performs what scientists call cellular transdifferentiation, essentially dissolving its entire adult body and reforming as a juvenile polyp, restarting its life cycle from scratch. Imagine if you could turn all your adult cells back into a baby's cells at will. Marine biologists have observed this process happening repeatedly in laboratory conditions, with no limit to how many times the jellyfish can regenerate. The implications for human medicine are staggering. Researchers at Harvard and Stanford are currently studying its DNA for clues about aging and cancer. Yet despite years of research, we still don't understand what triggers this miraculous transformation in the wild, or why this is the only species known to possess this ability. At number 8, we meet perhaps the most alien-looking creature in our oceans, the barrel eye fish. That transparent dome you're seeing isn't CGI. It's a fluid-filled shield protecting the fish's ultra-sensitive, tubular eyes that can rotate like binoculars. For decades after its discovery, scientists assumed those upward-facing eyes were permanently locked to spot prey silhouetted against the faint surface light. But then in 2009, researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium made an astonishing discovery. The eyes can actually swivel forward when the fish feeds. What's even more bizarre is that green pigment in its eyes acts like natural night vision goggles, filtering out sunlight to help spot bioluminescent prey. The big mystery. Why would a fish living in perpetual darkness need such sophisticated visual equipment? Some theorize it might hunt jellyfish that drift down from shallower waters. Others believe it may be watching for predators from above. The truth is, after observing fewer than 20 specimens ever captured on film, we still know shockingly little about this living submarine. Number 7 takes us into the realm of ancient maritime legends, the giant squid. For centuries, sailors told stories of monstrous kraken that could drag entire ships beneath the waves. While those tales were exaggerated, the truth is almost as incredible. The giant squid's eyes are the size of dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom, capable of detecting the faintest bioluminescent flashes in total darkness. Its eight arms and two specialized feeding tentacles are lined with hundreds of rotating hooks that can latch onto prey with terrifying strength. But here's what continues to puzzle scientists. Despite growing up to 43 feet long, we've never observed a living adult giant squid hunting in its natural habitat. All footage we have comes from either dead specimens or juveniles. We don't know how they communicate, how they reproduce, or even how long they live. Every new sighting raises more questions than answers about these elusive deep-sea giants.
At number 6, we discover an animal so strange that scientists initially thought it was a hoax. Discovered in 2005 near hydrothermal vents nearly 7,500 feet deep, this crab's most striking feature is its fur. Actually, dense mats of hair like setae grow bacteria. But here's the revolutionary part, this crab doesn't hunt. It farms. Researchers have observed yitai crabs rhythmically waving their claws over hydrothermal vents, essentially cultivating the bacteria that grows on their hairs. This makes them one of the only known non-human animals to practice agriculture. The mystery. We found three distinct species of yitai crab, each farming different bacteria at different vent systems. How did they evolve this behavior independently? And what other undiscovered species might be practicing similar farming techniques in the deep? We don't know yet. Number 5 introduces us to one of the deep sea's most effective hunters, the black dragonfish. While most deep sea creatures use blue bioluminescence, this predator has evolved something unique, the ability to produce and see red light. In the eternal darkness, this gives it an invisible hunting advantage, like having night vision goggles when everyone else is blindfolded. The female dragonfish can grow up to two feet long, while the male is just two inches and exists only to mate before dying. But the real mystery lies in its teeth. The dragonfish's teeth are transparent, an evolutionary adaptation that makes them invisible to prey. Material scientists are studying these teeth to develop stronger, clearer ceramics. Yet despite its incredible adaptations, we've never observed a dragonfish's complete life cycle in the wild. At number 4, we meet possibly the most adorable deep-sea creature, the Dumbo octopus. Named for its ear-like fins resembling Disney's Dumbo, this octopus floats gracefully through the abyss at depths up to 13,000 feet. Unlike most octopuses, it doesn't have an ink sac. In the perpetual darkness, ink would be useless. Instead, when threatened, it can turn itself completely inside out in a bizarre defensive maneuver we still don't fully understand. But the biggest mystery is that Dumbo octopuses are the deepest living octopus species known, yet they give birth to fully formed miniature adults rather than laying eggs. How do these delicate creatures survive the extreme pressure? And why did they evolve this unique reproductive strategy? Marine biologists suspect it may relate to the scarcity of food in the deep, but definitive proof remains elusive. Number 3 takes us back in time, the frilled shark is often called a living fossil, because its anatomy has remained virtually unchanged for 80 million years. With its eel-like body and 300 needle-shaped teeth arranged in backward-facing rows, this shark looks like something from prehistoric oceans. But here's what truly baffles scientists, despite being known to science since the 19th century, we've never observed a living frilled shark hunting or mating. All we know comes from dead specimens hauled up in fishing nets. In 2007, Japanese researchers captured the first ever footage of a live frilled shark, but it died shortly after being brought to the surface. The mystery deepens when we examine its physiology. The frilled shark has the most primitive reproductive system of any living shark, with gestation periods that may last up to 3.5 years. At number 2, we encounter the deep sea's most famous predator, the anglerfish. That glowing lure you're seeing isn't just for attracting prey. It's actually a specialized organ containing bioluminescent bacteria that the fish cultivates like a tiny garden. But the real shocker is that the males of most anglerfish species are essentially parasitistic mates. A male will bite onto a female and permanently fuse with her body, sharing her bloodstream and providing sperm on demand. Scientists call this sexual parasitism, and it's one of the most extreme examples of mating adaptation in nature. Yet despite being studied for over a century, we've never observed the actual mating process in the wild. How do the tiny males find females in the vast darkness? Why do some species have free living males while others are parasitic? And most puzzling of all, how does the female's immune system not reject the male's tissue? Medical researchers are studying this phenomenon for potential organ transplant breakthroughs.
And finally, our number one most mysterious deep sea creature, the giant larvacine. This tiny tadpole-like animal builds elaborate, balloon-like mucus structures called houses that can be up to three feet wide, making them among the largest structures built by any individual animal. The larvation lives inside this delicate palace, beating its tail to create water currents that filter microscopic food particles. When the filters clog, the animal simply abandons its house and builds a new one, sometimes daily. But here's what has scientists stunned. These discarded mucus houses are now believed to be the ocean's most efficient system for transporting carbon from surface waters to the deep sea. A single larvation can filter a Starbucks Grand Cup's worth of water every second. Yet despite their ecological importance, we know almost nothing about their life cycle, how they evolved this unique behavior, or why some species build houses 20 times their body size. These creatures prove that even in our age of satellites and AI, Earth's greatest mysteries still lie beneath the waves. Each discovery raises new questions about evolution, about survival in extreme environments, and about life's incredible adaptability. What other marvels might be waiting in the unexplored 95% of our oceans? One thing's certain that every expedition brings us closer to understanding our planet's last great frontier. Which of these creatures shocked you the most? Have you heard of any other mysterious deep sea animals? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe as we continue exploring Earth's greatest mysteries.